Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Wilson and Shep, the one against all hide and seek game by Blue Orange Games. It plays two to five players for ages six and up and takes roughly 15 minutes to play. And in the game Wilson and Shep, one player will be playing as Wilson, the wolf hiding in sheep's clothing, while the rest of the players will play as Shep, the sheepdog, looking to find Wilson among the sheep in the pasture. <laughs> <laughs> You're also going to be getting reward tokens, and based on the number of players will determine how many rounds you play. And then you're basically going to go back and forth, either moving Wilson as the Wilson player or moving Shep as the sheepdog players attempting to find Wilson while Wilson remains sleuthy and hidden among the sheep. After eight rounds, the player who either hides successfully wins or finds Wilson wins. Let's go ahead and show you the setup for the game Wilson and Shep. <laughs> To begin setting up for the game Wilson and Shep, go ahead and start by gathering the sheep tokens and creating a 4x4 grid. Sheep tokens are the ones that have a sheep on the front and back. And as you see, I've went ahead and done that. Then select one player to be Wilson, the person who most recently interacted or saw a sheep, and the rest of the players will play as Shep, the sheepdog looking for Wilson. Set aside the reward tokens within easy reach of all players. All the players who are not playing as Wilson will decide on a space in which Shep will start. Once done, then Wilson will ask all players to close their eyes. Once they've closed their eyes, Wilson will select any sheep that uh, uh, they, they would like to select, other than the one that currently uh, Shep is on, and place their character down and hide Wilson, removing the sheep that was replaced out of the game for the round. Once done, then the board is set up. Wilson will be the first player to go, and followed by the other players moving Shep. If Shep's able to find Wilson, then Wilson's in trouble. And if Wilson, Wilson can secretly hide from the sheepdog, then Wilson will win. But let's talk about how the game plays. The gameplay for Wilson and Shep is rather quite simple. To begin the game, have the Wilson player select to move any two sheep that are next to each other, either diag diagonally or horizontally um, or adjacent, basically one space. And so you can go ahead and rotate just like that. That would be one turn. You could also rotate this way. So for instance, maybe my Wilson character would like to move these two sheeps and swap their places. After Wilson has done that, then the players in order will select Shep to move one space. Once Shep has moved that space, then they are going to reveal that sheep to see if it is in fact Wilson. So Shep might want to move right here. Once the Shep has been moved, you'll flip over the token that Shep was recently on, and then you'll check to see. Was it a sheep? It was. If it was Wilson, however, the game would be over for the round, and the sheepdog players would win. Next, it goes back to Wilson, and Wilson will go ahead and rearrange the board once again. And the next player in line, after the previous sheep player, will go ahead and be able to move Shep. Right there. And flip over the tile to see if Wilson is under. Wilson is not. Followed by Wilson once again going ahead and selecting tiles and rotating them. And it'll just keep going on just like that. Moving Shep, flipping it over and checking to see if it's Wilson. Wilson rotating the board in some way. Shep moving along again until one of two things happens. Either A, Shep is able to find Wilson on the board before eight rounds. Every player playing as Shep will win the game and receive one reward token. Or if Shep manages to, uh oh, not this one, that's actually Wilson, <laughs> manages to flip over eight sheep tiles and uh, they don't find Wilson, then Wilson will win and receive an award tile. Once that happens, the round ends. You'll take the sheep that you most recently had to replace because Wilson had to be placed there, put the sheep back, flip all these guys over, and reset the round. Depending on the number of players, we'll determine how many times each player gets to play Wilson. In a two or three player game, everyone will play Wilson twice. And in a four or five player game, each player will play Wilson once. Once everybody has had a chance to do so, you'll check to see how many reward tokens you have. And whoever has the most is the winner of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson and Shep is a 
family oriented game. It is played for younger players in mind, or made for younger players in mind. And basically what you're attempting to do is hide as Wilson, rotate tiles, and convince the sheepdog players where you might be, even if you're not actually there, because you don't ever have to move Wilson if you do not want to. And deceiving players is basically all that Wilson does. They can choose to select two tiles, as long as they're adjacent to each other or, or diagonally, and move those tiles while the sheepdog player is going to simply move from tile to tile attempting to find Wilson by either using the clues that maybe Wilson is given or by using those uh, fake clues and actually not getting anywhere because maybe Wilson was here the entire time and the Wilson player has been rotating these tiles over here. There's a surprisingly uh, good a chunk of strategy in this game. When I first picked this one up, I figured it was going to be really, really simple, like one of those matching style games. But because the players, as playing as Wilson, can move any of the tiles that they want, rotating them around, convincing players where he may or may not be, and the other players socially discussing this game because they're all working together against the wolf, uh, it gives a little bit of extra, uh, an extra little bit of strategy that I wasn't expecting. Now, don't get me wrong, this is made for kids. If you're looking for a thick, hearty, medium weight game, no, that's not going to be that. In fact, it's, it's, it's a very light, light game. It's really simple, really easy easy to understand, and this is definitely made for the younger age group six. Even maybe five-year-olds can pick this game up because all they need to know is to move from one space to another, or if they're playing as the other guy, just to simply rotate two tiles, and it's hide-and-go-seek. But who doesn't love hide-and-go-seek? In fact, even when I was playing this on our live stream with adults ages 30 plus, we all enjoyed this game and played multiple times. And in fact, one of the people playing the game actually ended up buying it because he knew of a family friend that had a kid who would be interested in the game and that is where this game is going to shine. Now, of course, because it is more light-based, I think that's probably its main drawback in most players who are looking to have a game night or even play a game that's kind of a filler if their older adults might not find this game uh, thick enough or heavy, heavy enough to be interested in playing. However, for those of you with kids or people who are on, want to play with an older group of individuals, like my grandmother would love this game. I know for a fact she would play this game with me over and over again and be very easy for her to understand and comprehend hand and still have a little good a good chunk of strategy and it's also a good way of keeping your memory um, pretty good and of course uh, you can still kind of be deceptive in the game as well overall this is an excellent little game for the audience that it is kind of entailing the high quality pieces are very nice nice and thick tokens with beautiful <laughs> funny artwork uh, the nice little character meeple of Shep I like that and I also like the theme of the game it's not really that the wolf is trying to eat the sheep which is a little darker for a kid's game this is more of kind of like the wolf is trying to hide around the flock and not get caught by the sheepdog by being kind of an, an imposter sheep um, but at the same time if you're a little more knowledgeable knowledge that's not even a word, but if you're a little bit more knowledgeable on what wolves typically like to do in sheep areas, you can kind of understand the basic premise of it, and the watchful hound is looking to stop the evil wolf, and it just really, really works for me, and the theme comes through in this very, very simple game. Uh, this is basically all you get in the game, but what comes in the game for what you need to do is perfect, and of course it gives you even extra little tokens that you probably won't need throughout the entire game. I highly enjoy this game, but it's only going to ever pop out for specific game nights and most likely I'll end up giving this away to a family that I know that has a bunch of kids that would enjoy this more than me in my game group. But don't get me wrong, this is a great game and I strongly suggest it for those of you who even remotely think this might work for you or maybe even someone you know, go ahead and send them the link for this video. But yes, Wilson and Shep by Blue Orange Games, a solid fun family title. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Wilson and Shep, the one against all hide and seek game. I have to keep referring to that so I don't mess it up. If you're interested in this game, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick it up from Blue Orange Games. No affiliation, or unless there's one on Amazon, then there will be an affiliation link. You can also go ahead and join our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We got blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more great stuff there with reviews from games that I don't actually preview on my videos. So if you want some light reading content by Brian and Josh, then go ahead and take a look there. Of course, also, if you want to go a step further and Patreon us for a dollar, we do great appreciate it. It goes to our live streams. We show you games just like this live, so you get an even better understanding of a game that you may or may not want to pick up. And we do that every week, Sundays at 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook. And the next day, we live link it to YouTube. And of course, I've cleaned it up and cut out all the extra stuff of me talking to the people on the stream. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to being the sheepdog and finding the wolf. 
the wolf with you next time. Really? It's gotta be a plane. Oh, I'll leave it in.